What's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode where we're going to be checking out this brand new 2022 Hot Wheels Exposed Engines 5 pack. And you've got to say, this is pretty cool for an idea. Oh, I love the exposed engines on cars. I think it's one of those things that, which really makes a hot rod. Having a big blower out the front there like that on that Gas Monkey Corvette. How awesome is that there, that little Fiat Coupe. Ooh, and a Gasser. Oh, what an awesome, awesome looking pack. All right, let's check it out. There's a barcode there. You can scan that so hopefully you can find this in your area. There's a picture there on the side of the Corvette. Let's go around to the back. Oh, nice. Look at the burnout that it's doing. That is so cool. Oh, yes. All right, in this pack, we get the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser, the Fiat 500C, uh, the 68 Corvette Gas Monkey Garage version, the Bone Shaker, and the Rigor Motor. And there's a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. You can pause and read that if you wish. So, yeah. All right, we're already taking the liberty of slicing the top so we can get in here nice and quick. And we'll have another quick look at the cars as we go through. How cool is the color on this? Love that. Bone Shaker is always a winner. And the Corvette, I love that. I can't wait to look at this one. And I'm very curious about this one here as well. And the Nova Wagon Gasser, number one. Let's grab this out and have a look. Wow, it's kind of like a, uh, Oh, it's like a, a maroon kind of purple, pinky purple kind of paint job on there. That's really, really cool. You see all the metallic paints in there as well. Wow, nice chrome front grille headlights and front bumper. Pretty cool looking there. You get the engine sticking out of the top there with no bonnet. Oh, that is awesome. Comes with a blue window and a chrome interior with a full race interior and roll cage that is awesome on the side here you can see gasser club and you get a little bit of pinstriping there that is a gold and red pinstriping with a little bit of silver and white thrown in there chevrolet on the front the tusky parts company on the back there and uh, brendan Vitusky is probably the designer of this casting as brendan Vitusky is one of the hot wheels designers very very nice to see that comes with the raised front end with the skinny wheels there you get the exhaust pipes straight down out of the wheel well that is super awesome you see just how skinny these front wheels there are as well and big huge fats on the back that is so awesome and a little bit of a look inside the rear window there is no window on the back there it's just open and no rear light details but we do get that chrome rear bumper that looks so cool. And the same tempo on this side. That is a very, very nice looking car. Very, very nice looking car. And here is the base for all you fans of that extra information. What a great looking car. That is so cool. I do like the look of that. Next up, we will grab the Fiat 500. We're going to go straight to the base on this one. Yes, it says Fiat 500C. That's kind of like a very, very old car, chopped and altered into a nice drag car. You get the little wheels on the front there, nice gold chrome five spoke wheels. The big fat drag wheels on the back there too. Very nice metallic blue color. You can see the front grille there. That's pretty awesome. Get a huge engine poking out of the top. Oh, wow. I love this set already. This is, we're only two cars in and I'm already super happy with this set. On the side, you can see the flame paintwork. You get a little bit of gold, yellow, and some silver and white painted there. You get the chrome engine sticking out and the exhaust pipe sticking out the side there. Wow, that is absolutely insane. You also see where it's been cut open on the actual car itself just to fit the stretched front wheels on there. Wow, this is super cool. Single seat interior, you can see the chrome steering wheel in the center there. Has this gold roll cage and also ties into this giant rear drag wing. Around the back we get a parachute. That is pretty cool. A lot of 
scaffolding there holding <laughs> the wing in place because this car is going to go very fast down the track as you know and yes the same tempo on this side once again that is really really cool and I'll flick it back over for the information there you go a little bit of engine transmission sticking out of the bottom there too <laughs> that's awesome a lot of extra attention is always always loved by us collectors a little bit of extra attention to detail we do love that uh, next up is the uh, 68 Corvette Stingray this is a Gas Monkey Garage custom version which they did on the TV show Gas Monkey Garage or was it Fast and Loud it was called sorry and the uh, yeah, they did a nice gold version of this, so it's very nice that Hot Wheels has started to do regular versions of this casting because I really do like this. I like the extra wide wheels. I love the engine sticking out of the bonnet there. And I also like all the four exhausts on each side sticking out the side there. It's just such a cool casting. And I'm a big fan of the Corvette anyway, so any excuse to have a kind of like race drag version of Corvette always makes me happy all right now we can get into the color is a very very nice burnt orange color metallic burnt orange color very nice there get the chrome engine in the front there get all the chrome bumper and grill there too very very nice a little bit of a white piece there you can see where the base cuts into the actual chrome on the bumper uh, get some black wheels with a bit of white trim on the outer edge number three on the side a little bit of white striping with a little bit of yellow and it appears to be a little bit of yellow and orange trim on that a little hot wheels logo on the side there uh, chrome bumpers on the rear no tail light details but we do get the nice round casting that is really really nice license plate area then we get the gas cap cover there that's uh, such a cool car and once again we get a chrome interior love it wow very very cool like that uh, let's flip it over let's get to the extra information we go gas monkey 68 corvette awesome that's pretty cool i have to say very happy for that one to be added into the collection Next up is the Bone Shaker, an absolute fan favorite. Everybody appreciates the Bone Shaker. I think it's one of Hot Wheels' uh, most collected casting out of all of them, if I'd have to guess. This one here is in a nice satin, satin gunmetal gray kind of color. It's very nice. It looks a little bit darker in real life than it does on the camera, but yeah, pretty nice. It has the brown engine sticking out of the bonnet there with the side pipe sticking out the side pretty cool and ah okay <laughs> I was just making sure that this wasn't an error because as you can see it is the same type of wheel but on the front it has a blacked out version with the little gold trim on the edge whereas this one has the complete gold chrome finish on all of the wheel pretty cool it's got that brown skull on the front there this is the closed roof version of the bone shaker and there you go, it says Bone Shaker on the side there in that crazy looking tempo. And you see there's a little bit of a skull and crossbones hiding behind the yellow lettering. A little bit of gold stripe around there too. Pretty cool. It's got the air tank or fuel tank, whichever that is, in the brown, plus the brown suspension. That is pretty awesome. And I can only assume that this would also have a brown interior. Yeah. A very, very cool casting. I know that there's a lot of people that really love this casting because I am one of them myself. I have quite a few bone shakers now. I'd love to collect all of them, but I think that's going to be a, a long task. <laughs> all right. Finally, from the Exposed Engine series is the Rigor Motor. This is a pretty cool looking fantasy casting. As you can tell, it is based on a coffin and you can see the side pipes coming out the side of the engine there also has the spider web and spider and that is where you drive from in the back there pretty cool looks like something that you might see on an old tv show such as uh what was that tv show called the adams family something like that 
Yeah, pretty awesome. It's a nice pearl, purple paint job. On the front there you can see it has a bat. That is pretty cool. It's also got a uh, fuel tank on the front there, I guess, and the big chrome engine. And there's also a little skull. Don't know if you can see that. Kind of hard to see, but there's actually a skull cast into the front of the engine there. There's a green side pipes, rigor motor on the side there. Has the blacked out steely wheels with that nice chrome green trim. Pink bubble top and the silver interior. Looks like a chrome interior inside. And there's the rear there with a little bit of a green bumper bar. And there's the side there, same as the other side. But that is just too cool. A very, very cool casting. I do quite like the fact that it has a coffin driven vehicle. It's very entertaining. And there is the base. Ah, uh, yes. What a great way to finish off the set. So yeah, that brings us to the end of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. We'll pop the box up the top there. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think of all of these cars. Which one is your favorite? For me, it is incredibly hard to choose. I have an appreciation for every car here because I do quite like <laughs> drag racing and blown engines and such like that. So yeah, very, very nice set. There we go, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you for joining me, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all then.